Yo. What's up, everybody out there? We're back. It's time for another afternoon Destiny 2 session, so without further preamble, let's get after it. Now I gotta decide what I wanna do. I think we're gonna go ahead and go to Nessus because I noticed that the Flashpoint, which is now active, is there. So I figured we better get our asses to Nessus and see what the hubbub's all about. Yeah. I do want to take a minute and do my quick, like, Destiny talk show moment here and say, I feel like, now maybe I just misunderstood this when it was first talked about. Or maybe there wasn't enough information at the time for me to fully understand this. Okay, so we're going to put that out there first. Here's what I'm a little unhappy about. There still isn't raid matchmaking. All there is is this guided games thing, which I sure as heck remember them making it sound like matchmaking of a kind for normal difficulty of the raids. Now, it's probably me hearing what I wanted to hear, wishful thinking. But I remember it that way. Today, now that the Leviathan raid has gone live, they were saying, remember kids, it's not really matchmaking, it's guided games, which we're not actually going to turn on yet for our, you, all you poor solo suckers and incomplete teams. And what bugs me is this guided games thing is basically just a baked in looking for game. And now I'm sitting here really worried that one of my most anticipated things about Destiny 2, which I like to play anyway, don't get me wrong. I'm still gonna get left out of raids. I'm really worried that's what's gonna happen. We will see. I'm not gonna pass judgment because it's not live yet and I can't find out for myself. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna give a fair shake on this. And it really bothers me that I feel like it's still going to be difficult to experience that content. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right. I feel like there should be matchmaking for normal difficulty if you want it. I know people say I'll ruin it and all this stuff, but you know what? We all managed to cooperate playing Firefight and Warzone just fine in Halo, even without any mics. Just a bunch of randos having a good time. We all managed to do strikes in Destiny that way, and it worked just fine. I don't like having the choice taken away from me. But again, I'm not passing any kind of judgment. I haven't used this guided games feature. I don't really know what it's going to be like. But just from where I sit right now, I'm not real happy that that's what it is. It's just baked in LFG. I don't like it. So that's my two cents on that. We'll see how it takes shape. We'll see what happens with my clan, House of the Half Moon. Maybe it won't even matter. Maybe it'll just be freaking moot if House of the Half Moon works out. Anyway, let's go to Nessus, I think. The Red War looped Arcadian Valley. Sounds good, let's go get it. Oh, hey, Cat and Gambit, what's up, guys? I just uh, realized my chat window was minimized. I see you guys now. What's up, dudes? Again. While he prepares for the assault on the Almighty, we're going to find Cade and Ikora. 
Luckily, we picked up an odd signal from Cade's ghost. It's being boosted somehow from a centaur called Nessus, which is strange. Centaurs are really just big rocks in the outer reaches of the solar system. There should be nothing there. Good to see you guys in the chat there. Thanks for hanging out and enjoying. I always appreciate the support from my pals. Oh wow, this is beautiful. I love the music. So much for nothing being here. Let's get to high ground so I can pin down Cade's location. Cat, you say uh, you don't have Destiny 2 yet, but um, you hope that they'll learn from Destiny 1. Yeah, you know what? I would say, for the most part, and I think uh, Gambit there will agree with me, they fixed most of what I felt was the most wrong uh, from Destiny 1, including a lot of the systems and stuff. Truly. Um, At least a baked-in LFG will help you get matched quickly. And and that's why I'm saying, like, I'm willing to give that a chance. I may not agree with it, but it's got a good chance of working. It just bothers me that I don't have servers helping me find people. And I honestly don't really care about the random element. Not at normal difficulty. We should be able to have that choice, is all I'm trying to say. Um... Gambit, you say we'll always support you. Thanks, dude. You know how much I appreciate the support. And actually, I gotta give Gambit a shout. Gambit is the is Josh that I've been talking about. And uh, Gambit helped figure out the clan name and really, like, encouraged me to start that. So I want to say thank you, bro. You're awesome. It's so cool that we reconnected over games, dude. So great to have you here. Thanks, man. Cat, you agree? Well, I'm glad you do. I don't think it's an unreasonable point of view. You know, I'm always willing to give a chance, but I really don't like this resistance to, to letting it be match made. I just don't think it's fair. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so where are we even going right now? Here we go. Tracking Cade signal now. I think I'm getting something. Get over my head! Back trap! A signal, a vex trap, and a failsafe. Sounds like the beginning of a typical Cade joke. Something around here is blasting that signal into space. We find that something, we'll find Cade. You just need to make some time to play. Yeah, you do, bro. But you know, I told you, I don't, I don't mind repeating stuff. So it's all good. I love this game. I don't mind. Uh, where are we going now? What's this? I hope I don't fall to my death. <laughs> and that's what Blink is for, baby. That's what Blink is for. God, that looks so amazing. These worlds that are kind of Vex-like with these structures are my favorite. See, Kat, you, uh... Having no one to do raids with made you think the game was a waste of time. Only did strikes, Iron Banner, and the odd Crucible things, and you were disappointed. Yeah, I mean... Uh, <sighs> There's a lot of stuff that happened with the original Destiny that I, I mostly blame Activision for that, but you can't blame Activision for the point of view on raids. And I think, too, it's kind of like growing pains for this type of game because this sort of action MMO looter shooter is still something that's relatively new. And I think... You know, the attitude that, hey, that's the whole point of the raids is to get your group and be serious about it. 
but you forget the platform that it's on and the audience that this game can work for and when there's no matchmaking at all like then just make an ultra easy version of the game like we should be able to enjoy the end game content it might be an inferior experience but we should be able to experience it i mean we paid for it why does it have to be so hard that's all i'm trying to say that's all i'm trying to say But, again, baked in LFG could totally work. It may not matter at all in the slightest. Dude, look at this. There's like this crashed ship over here. Check that out. Man. See, whenever I see this kind of thing, I think of the Black Garden. I love that. Well, and see, I kind of had a... kind of an opposite problem with Destiny 1, in that I really loved it just because I was addicted to the, to the cycle of getting loot, and I liked the way it played as a shooter. You know, and I liked the Crucible a lot, so that was okay. But I was so, so, so disappointed in not being able to do raids because I wanted to do them so badly. You know what I mean? Can we go in here? Okay, wait. I walked past something I was supposed to pay attention to. Somehow. Okay, alright. It's map time. Yakking and not paying attention. Hmm. Yeah, I totally walked right past where we were going. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ooh, guys, look! Lost Sector. I think we need to go explore it. Story mission? I'll get back to you. Lost Sector. Now, how do we go into it? Here? Yeah. Oh boy, this means we're gonna get an emblem! The Gambit, bro, you need to be here right now and help me explore Lost Sectors. That's what I was doing with my other friend. Yes. You thought the story arc on Destiny 1 could have been improved on? Well, and see, that's the stuff, like, when I talk about what Activision did that really messed up the original game. They not only rushed original Destiny after a long development, but they actually made them cut stuff, not even because of development time. Like, they just made them cut things and change things. And actually, a lot of what Activision did is uh, what led to the bad blood between Marty O'Donnell and um, Bungie and Activision over the music. Changes that Activision wanted and all kinds of stuff and it really... And then they they used his work after all those changes were made without talking to him about it and it was all really nasty and like this whole thing that's going on right now with the one use shaders and all that hubbub. I keep telling people, you know, don't be mad at Bungie. That's Activision doing their typical we're gonna profitize the heck out of this game thing. And the fact that you can't like go to the vendor anymore and buy a specific thing that you want. You can only get it from random crates. Like dude, seriously, that's basically gambling. Like if you could legit buy exactly what you wanted, I wouldn't care about it so much. 
But you can't even do that. All right, guys. I will. I will look at chat as soon as I'm done killing these damn Vex. Hate these things. I like this gun, but I think I'm gonna switch back to my other one. Let's see. What are y'all saying? Cat, you're on PS4. I know. A lot of people that I know are on PS4, or they're gonna be going to PC. Which, you know, I, I don't know. I like this game enough. I'd be very tempted to, to get it on PC also. I probably won't just because cost involved, but in you know, if I could just say heck with it and drop the money, I might get it on PC. So that I could do both. Because a computer that I have can definitely run it. But one thing I definitely won't be doing is getting a PlayStation 4. Oh, ouch! Okay, we're, we're gonna switch guns. I don't want to use this one. Let's switch to... What do I have in here? The void... Fire... Let's do... Actually, we, look, why don't we use... Let's use this. Let's use this. For a little while. And I, you know, and I guess what bothers me about microtransactions, you know, we talk about microtransactioning the heck out of something. I actually don't mind that to a certain degree. But what I really don't like is when it gets in the way. And like, was it really necessary to make shaders one time use? Like, don't you think that they would make enough money if you could just pick out what you wanted from the store? Like, even if the shaders were one-time use. Okay, whatever, I get that. But if you could just buy the shader that you wanted, wouldn't people keep buying the crap out of their favorite shader? Like, why did you have to also make it gambling crates, too? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I still don't have the right weapons equipped. I am in so much trouble right now. I got two automatic weapons going like a moron. Oh dear. Okay, we're going to get away from him. Going to get away from him for a minute. This weapon needs to be changed to Let's go hand cannon. No wait. Let's go Magigar. There we go. He's got some friends over here we want to clean out, I think, first. Let's see. Is there anybody else over here at all? No. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. What in the... Okay, alright, alright. You're the one I was looking for. Okay. Now, where's your friend? Oh, there he is. Come here. So much glimmer. Oh, and then your friends show up. I guess I could have used my super on him, huh? everybody? Anybody else? 
You've always been a PSN person ever since the original PlayStation. Yeah, you know, I've actually been pretty displeased with Sony. They've always been strict about, you know, DRM and certain things, but it was never, like, a huge problem until relatively recently. And it's not even really those policies that bug me. There's just a lot of stuff they allow to go on that I don't particularly appreciate, and they perpetuate a lot of stuff in the industry that's not really my favorite thing in the world. Um, I was a PlayStation and Sony person all the way up until uh, the 360 came out from Microsoft. Um, I didn't have an original uh, Microsoft console. I was Sony all the way, but I really wanted to play Halo. I really, really wanted to play Halo. And that's when I moved over to Microsoft. And I have to tell you, I'm not sorry. Like, there are things I miss about Sony, but not enough to ever make me want to go back. Especially because a lot of those things can be found on PC, which is not my favorite thing either, but it's an option, you know? Sweet, there's our shader, and we got some cool armor. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, I'll get rid of this one. And put on this one. Get rid of that one. I'm still not really having fun using this gun. I mean, it's good, but let's try out. This gun's good, but I don't want to use it. Um, mm, mm -hmm -hmm. I really like this submachine gun still. So let's do that, and then let's do... Well, no, not really what I want either. I want to try this sidearm, so we'll just we'll just equip it and we'll try it. How about that? All right, let's get out of here. We had our fun with the lost sector. I'm definitely keeping each emblem for the Lost Sectors. Just to show that I found one on each planet. Mm-hmm. Gonna vault those bad boys. But, uh, you know, Cat, you can still join my clan unless you have a Destiny clan already and be on different platforms. Uh, it's just that we can't, we can't play together, but you can be part of the clan if you want to identify with it. And, and I would encourage everybody that's thinking of making a clan to remember that, too. Like... You just want to identify as a group and be unified. You can have people across all platforms. And I think, in a way, that really helps to generate the right kind of community. And then, you know, your different subgroups for each platform will get bigger and bigger. Because that's kind of the idea with my new clan, um, House of the Half Moon. You know, more than being on one platform or another, we're kind of about a certain ideal and a way of playing and being a um, a positive community and and encouraging each other and having fun so yeah it's something to not lose sight of when you're thinking about doing stuff you know don't be discouraged just because you know you're not all on the same box <laughs> there's only five of you well that's still okay. I mean, 
under the new um there the signal's coming from that wrecked ship under the new guided games feature y'all would only need one more people for a raid so and right now house of the half moon is invite only so i would have to you know i'd have to know that they were uh, applying or know what their gamer tags are, or, you know, or whatever it is, their user IDs, actually. Their user IDs on Bungie is how I find them. So. Ding. Hello. Are you here to rescue the Cade-6? Whoa, you're not Cade. The Cade-6 is currently caught in a teleportation loop. He's over there. Whoop. Now he's over there. Whoop. <laughs> he's moving? Well, that's complicated. I can help you. But I'm going to be super unpleasant about it. I'm sorry. What? I have uploaded his new coordinates to you. Against my better judgment. Uh, okay. So you said you had a really bad time finding people to help and play with. Yeah, and, and that's a common theme. And, like, even though there's good communities out there, if you don't already know what they are, that's the problem. And uh, you said uh, anyone who raided with you would not be patient and basically dropped out because you were new to completions. Yeah. And that right there is my argument for having some kind of matchmaking. I mean, you're still going to have that. But like in Halo, how many times do you do a coordinated thing, especially the new stuff like Warzone and stuff? And even though you're not talking and like nobody has a mic, you end up just working through it together because you want to complete it. You know, that's the thing. I mean, there's a lot of good people out there, too, but finding them is the issue. At least the baked in LFG will let you you know, make it clear what your, what your parameters are, I guess, and you'll have a little more success at getting what you want, which, you know, we can argue all day that that might be superior to blind matchmaking, I guess. May I help you with anything else? Yeah, are you okay? You sound a little <laughs> off. And that's gorgeous. I am the Exodus Black's failsafe. Call me failsafe. <laughs> I boosted the Cade 6s signal in hopes he would be rescued. And look, here you are. Oh, I see. She's just an AI. A malfunctioning AI. I heard that. At your service. Oh, we're going down here. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. If we're headed into that lost sector. <sighs> nope, we're not. Okay. The one with Cade in the group. Yeah, I did see those advertisements. Did you see the Japanese Destiny commercial with all the Guardians dancing? I love that one. I was like, yeah, that's how I feel about being all excited for the new Destiny. It just made me want to dance. Cade's definitely my favorite. I mean, I love Nathan Fillion, but that's such a great character. And then his voice makes it real, you know. Centaurs are supposed to be just giant icy rocks. How did all this happen? A robotic alien entity called the Vex have achieved 92.014% conversion of the Centaur Nessus. Okay. This is so cool looking. Oh, we're not going down that hole, are we? Damn it, we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that scared me. <laughs> you like the one where Cade was like, do it for the puppies. <laughs> I remember that one. That made me laugh out loud. Now, do we see any lost sector graffiti over here anywhere? I could look at my map, but I'm not here to hunt lost sectors right now.
I really don't fancy the idea of going down a really deep dark hole, but here we are. I guess the stairs end here. We gonna have to jump. Okay. And blink. Every time I see Vex stuff, I think about the Vault of Glass and how my friends and I got stuck because we didn't realize that you really needed all six people to do anything. That was the most terrible thing ever. Another example of why I hate what's going on, but... Cade! Someone there? Listen, don't ask me how this happened. I don't have time to explain, but I don't have time to understand. Warning! The Vex will vaporize <laughs> Oh, crap! I told you I had a bad feeling about this. This is my favorite gun right now, this SMG. I really do not have the right gun right now. They're coming out of the- oh god. Come here. Next customer. So much trouble. So much trouble right now. power ammo left. That is fantastic. And we missed. Also fantastic. Run. So the healing thing's convenient. All right, well. So failsafe, what exactly happened here? <laughs> the Cade 6 attempted to manipulate the Vex portal system. He is now trapped in a non-linear loop. In my defense, I tried to warn him. <laughs> He's like, not that smart. <laughs> this is not going well. No kidding. Do I always play as a warlock? Yes. And this is, uh, this is my same 
warlock from last game. I imported my character's appearance. But I think this time around, I want to replay as the other classes. I was actually wondering the other day, kind of in my head, about how long the original Destiny is going to stay online. And in a way, I mean, as long as the population's good, that game really should stay online because that's the whole first part of the story. You know what I mean? Like, it would be weird if you couldn't, you couldn't play it. Even if it is a little more incoherent, you know what I mean? I have some friends that are in big clans that I might be able to play through the raids with, so maybe I can go back to OG Destiny and, and finally do some of that stuff. I hope. I hope, I hope. You heard they were thinking of disconnecting it? Like, what What did they say? As long as population's good and they're making money, I mean, you know. But then we're talking about Activision. How long have you been here, exactly? Long enough to see the Vex convert this entire planetoid, kill all living organisms, reformat molecules, and digitize brain waves for further study. It's a fascinating process. She sounds way too excited about that. I mean, I think at a certain point, no matter what, it will be true. But, I don't know, I mean, as long as the population stays up, you know, it could go for a while. Because it's, it's not like other games where you can experience parts of the content without an internet connection. See, that's the thing that's different. So, that game... Whoa. If the first game goes away, you're literally missing a huge chunk of the story. I mean, not that Activision has ever cared about that sort of thing. Okay, so... The eerie red light and the floating rocks are kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know about y'all. And I fell. How did that even happen? I just slid right off of that platform. What the heck? It's a good one for the old fail reel. Oh, I see. Well, actually, you know, what you're saying there is good. For everybody else watching, I'll repeat it. They were saying that their focus would be on Destiny 2 and that Destiny 1 would no longer be actively looked at or worked on and that some of the elements wouldn't come back like Iron Banner. Uh, all of that that you just said is true. And that I can understand, because that game is not the focus. But, all I'm saying is, at least for a good long while, don't turn the servers off for the original Destiny, because it is part of the story. And I'm sure there's plenty of people that would still enjoy, you know, running those raids, even if they have Destiny 2 and are playing it a bunch. But no, I, I would never expect them to keep doing Iron Banner and, like, you know, Sparrow Racing League and like all that kind of stuff. Because that support's just not there. But the key part of what you said is it's like, they're not doing anything special, but they're not turning the servers off. So that's actually, that's actually encouraging. Yeah, no more patches, no more work, but we're not shutting it off. No, oh, no, oh, man, it almost happened again. Dude. Ow! Okay, that was a little far. Does this remind anyone else of Vault of Glass? What in the hell is going on over here? Look at this, guys. Yeah, I, I I worry about them discontinuing Destiny 1 um, too soon. 
but I really don't see that happening for a while. Even though it's Activision, it's still Bungie too. Look at this, guys. It's like there's a little sun down here. Look at that. What the heck are we looking at right now? Dude. And this right here, this is what I love about Bungie games. Atmosphere. Like, Destiny 1 still worked because even if you didn't know what the heck was going on, it was pretty and mysterious. Okay, I see that there's enemies, so I guess I better be concentrating now. Break out the old hand cannon. I'm tired of messing around. Here, Vexy, Vexy, Vexy. Oh boy. You know, you can't have a sniper as a secondary weapon anymore, right? Snipers and shoddies are power weapons now. That's slot number three. But actually, I have to say that's one of the things that I like now. You are good at destroying the Vex. Much better than my crew was. I'm almost afraid to ask, but failsafe? What happened to the Exodus Black crew? Only my captain can access those memories. And he's super dead. <laughs> um, you know, Kat, I wasn't sure how I felt about that either until I actually started playing. And here's another thing that happened I'll show you that I actually thought was cool. I don't know if you've heard about this yet, but see how... Like, in this slot, these are all kinetic weapons, right? And I have, you know... All different stuff, right? And and remember how like pulse rifles and all of those things used to just be kinetic, right? But then you go to the secondary slot and like here's an auto rifle, but it's void. Here's a pulse rifle, but it's solar. Right? Like so now you have it's basically like kinetic elemental and then you have uh elemental power weapons which include shoddy swords. Um, the fusion rifle. And the heavy ammo is more plentiful, too. See, that's the other thing. That ammo pops up more often than it used to, to account for this. Yeah, exactly. In Destiny 1, they camp with the sniper. And also, some of the ridiculousness that happened around the, the heavy ammo drops. So, in the end, I think it's good. And actually, I adjusted to it right away. It, it's not even a problem. Let's tweak up the gear here. Let's see. Now, do I want to have this sidearm? I think I do. Sidearms are actually the one thing I think that's changed that's not quite as good as it was, but I'm not sure that I found a really good one yet either be honest. Full disclosure, I'm not sure that I did find a really good one yet. I think things are looking good. I'm just having a look in here. Okay, cool. Alright. Where's Cade? Down underneath somewhere? I just want to know what's up with this crap. This is so weird. 
totally like a sun or something down here. Um, I think... So you said you heard they slimmed down the PvP player amount. I think specifically that refers to the fact that it is now 4v4 instead of um, 6v6, which was the kind of the old standard or even 5v5, right? Um, and I think that goes with the fact that they're trying to make it a more competent PvP that's actually fair. Um, because there's plenty about Destiny PvP that's fun, there was a lot of stuff that's not, and the changes seem very specific to what wasn't fun while preserving the, the stuff that was. Um, now as far as 2v2 goes, there's nothing like that to play yet, and some of the old game types are missing, but that will, I imagine that will come back eventually. It's still so early on, and they didn't say that they're not gonna do it, but I know that, that 6v6 is not the standard anymore, it's 4v4 like Halo. Is there anything up here that I should be looking at? No. All right. And they've definitely made some little tweaks to the weapons too, because I always used to like, really like the sound of the hockey weapons, but I never liked using them because the, the recoil was so bad. And now, like, this little hockey SMG is my favorite thing to play with. So. Yeah, the legendary sidearm. Yeah, I read about that. Um... You found PvP unfair mostly when big clans would just never split up. And that was the other thing, too. I mean, you should be able to be together because I've also experienced the issue with games where they don't let you party up, and that's a, a bummer of its own, but for sure, balance needed to happen. And then you said uh, the opposite team would have the lower levels versus a six-man team of 400 light. Yeah, exactly. And I know that there were issues with having enough players to choose from and matching to account for both skill and connection, but still because of the way that the weapon system was, like the base system of the game, I think it was hard to make it fair. I still enjoyed it, but I think the way that I play would lend itself. That I like I like how you can see the like the dirt on my helmet. That is so cool. Um, the way that I play would lend itself to dealing with that better than it would someone else. I missed... The Crying out loud. <laughs> that was stupid again. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Come on, Guardian, get your act together. Did we miss again? We did! I may have to not blink. After many years, you were going 23 and 6 against the whole clan. Yeah, see, that's what happened to me. And so I have a certain argument that that I use against people that complain about or, the original Destiny PvP. You know, uh, whoa, what the heck? Is that like a man cannon? It is. Interesting. Wait a minute now. So like that one's lit up. Was that one lit up? <gasps> it is. You mean I could go up there? Okay. I just just like anything, if you learn how to play, you can deal with stuff. But I never played Destiny to be like the best player by the stats. Do you know what I mean? Like I never I never played it to do that. Whoa, hello. Dang, that was a fun ride. Now, can I get up there? I want to go up there. Where's the other thing I need to jump off of? Here. I think there's something up there, and I want to find it. And it's not active. Oops. Oh, <laughs> uh, 
Okay, enough of that. Let's go miss this jump some more. <laughs> but I, you know, I would never fight with anybody that said that Destiny's PvP was unbalanced because it was unbalanced. I just didn't. I just didn't care. I just thought it was fun. I, it didn't matter to me that much. <clears throat> You know, I want to, the game I play to, like, own people is Halo. I don't, I don't care. Okay. We made it. Now where to? This way. Ugh. Got tangled up in my headphone wires here. This is cool looking. Dude, okay, wait. T tell me if I'm right about this. Let's turn around. I wonder if you can go out there. You can definitely go up there. If you go up there, you probably dropped it. Because are you looking at this? Like, that's totally jumpable. Look at that. What the hell's going on here? Hmm. Mm hmm. Does that not look like the Vault of Glass? Just saying. I'm just saying. Interesting. The Cade Six is just beyond that Vex gate. Please proceed. Won't we get stuck like Cade? Oh no. My judgment module is much more reliable than the Cade units. <laughs> Oh, that's hella funny. Oh my god, okay. Alright. Seems like a great idea. Let's go do it. Music is great. Ain't no Marty O'Donnell, though, that's for sure. We're through. Boom. We're okay. Of course. The Cade 6 is not far now. Where the heck are we? See, this totally seems like nods to Vault of Glass. This is just like the caves. Down here. Probably my demise. We're not going to go down there. Oh, look! Floating stuff. Also looking like the Vault of Glass. Why did I keep walking just then? Did it suck me in? Oh boy. Over here. Yeah, Get I, I see here. I see you, bro. What's oh, that? for the love of Okay, yeah, yeah. No, handle that first, then me. Okay. Uh uh, I don't know what to do right now. Not good. Not good. Okay, come on. Okay, show yourself. Where'd it go? Oh god! Hey! Whoa! Great. It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! It worked! It worked! I like how I just throw like a big fat black hole Quick. at my enemies. Hurry. Come on! I don't know how long this portal's oh. gonna stick. Kate, what have you? Stop, 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 look, look. Long story, and it may look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. Killing the power source at the origin point should break the loop and get me out of the portal system. Have you got that? Say you've got it. See something. Fine, I'll say it. We got it, Kate. 
Now, how did you... Oh, my cotton socks! Did you not hear what I just said? I'm guessing this is why they don't like him leaving the tower. <laughs> did he say, oh, my cotton socks? It's all green. So this is the planet that's supposed to be the flashpoint this week. Which I believe I said before. So I'm trying to remember what I do for the flashpoint this time. Failsafe, we're at your coordinates. Kate is stuck inside a Vex portal system. Can you help us find the power source so we can get him out? Oh yes. By locating the original Vex teleporter the Cade unit used, you can shut down the loop and free him. I can guide you there. Okay, cool. so we find this Vex teleporter and shut it down. Easy. No problem. Let's go. Ow. Now we should get credit. Hold on a second. Hold on just a second now. That's cool looking. Ugh. What is this stuff? It's called Radiolaria. You know, Vex mind fluid. Hmm. This stuff is organic. Seems the Vex are not pure robot. Huh. Alright, I ain't touching it. I guess I am touching it. Ow. Okay, I guess I don't want to touch it. Ow. Not gonna work. Crap. Not have the right gun right now. Need that one. That's better. I can get away with shooting Fallen with a hand cannon, but not here. What, these things have void tentacles now?
Come here. What could have possibly brought Cade to Nessus? I know the answer. One, stop listening in on us. Two, what's the answer? He asked me not <laughs> to tell anyone. Of course he did. Of course he did. This will be fun. Look at that. Huh. I can hear something. Warning! Banks threat detected. They are blocking your path to the Cade unit's teleporter. You will have to eliminate them. Great. That, that is fantastic. I'm so thrilled with that whole thing. What the hell are these guys? Oh, they blow up. That's nice. I guess I used my super too soon, huh guys? Take a look around at what we got here. Got a minute to breathe. Yeah, nope. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Uh, 
that is so neat. Look, look at that. Huh. This is the Vex teleporter? Yes. The Cade 6 will want it. You should pick it up. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Take that, you scrap heap! I'm out, baby! Ouch! Whew! Hey, where are you? Hey, you did it! You got me out! Ha, ha, ha! Uh, where, where am I? Cade unit, you are near the remains of my reactor core. Welcome to the Exodus Black. Where all your dreams come true. All right. Getting out of here, man. Oh. Okay. Uh, seems like you've met my new friends, Failsafe and her evil twin, Failsafe. Which is the evil one? If I had feelings, they would be hurt. All right, we're back outside. Uh oh, Fallon's got the Vex in a tizzy, and by tizzy, I mean murderous rampage. I'll hunker down in the Exodus Black. Here, but my hull is in 108 pieces. Decks 1 through 20 are buried, and my cooling system. <sighs> I am a mess. Oh, we know, Failsafe. We know. Hmm. Intruder alert! It's me! It's... It's the Cade unit? False. I mean, true. But you are attracting large numbers of fallen to my position. Damn it! Feel safe to shoot at me. Hmm. Then I advise you not get shot. Okay, well, this looks fun. I was hoping the Fallen and Vex would finish each other off on Venus. But then you'd miss all the fun. That is a really big Vex. All kinds of places to hide. Now.
Where'd he go? Oh, the Seekers! We're on our way. Uh, that's good to hear, because the Fallen just found us. Activating oh defensive shield. The Cade 6 must stand back. Hey, nice one, failsafe. The Fallen can't get to us now. That, that's right, though. They, they can't, right? Get to us. Hmm. Probably want to hustle. I think they just said something about ripping my beautiful horn off my face. My beautiful, beautiful horn. Mm. All right. Intruder alert. Uh, it's us.
Yes, yes, I hear you. Work it around this way, this way, this way, this way. We just wasted our super. Drop something. All right, where are we going? Looks like an amped up version of Panix. Yeah, exactly. Down, down, down. So it's true. The light found its way back to you. Not that I'm jealous or nothing, but <laughs> take it easy out there, will you? You're making me look bad. What may we ask were you going to do with a Vex teleporter? Get up close and personal with Go, put a bullet in his head. Then maybe eat a sandwich. I gotta work out a few kinks <laughs> first. Fun fact about the Vex tech. Not as intuitive as you'd think. Cade, you can't do this alone. <clears throat> Hell, I can't. <sighs> Even if you manage to kill Gaul, when the Red Legion leave a system, defeat or victory, they leave nothing behind. The Cabal are bad guys who do bad things. Yes, I get it. I'm sorry, but I do not think you do. The Cabal literally leave nothing behind. They have a weapon that can destroy a star, and it is pointed directly at our sun. Hey, 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 easy, easy. You're gonna blow a bulb. Zavala has a plan. He needs you, Kate. Yes, well, Zavala always says he has a plan, but sometimes he just... 
Wait. Zavala said he needs me? As in you heard those exact words coming out of Zavala's mouth? Yes, we did. Please tell me you recorded it. Well, did Akora at least hear it? Actually, Zavala lost her after the city fell. We don't know where she is. Io. Io, it's, it's where she'd go to look for answers. Hey, um, thanks. Oh, you won. Okay, cool. So here's our map. As you say, Ms. Karn, I am happy to assist your research. My data stores are yours whenever you have need of them. All right, guys. Well, as much as I hate to do this, this is going to be where we stop for right now. Uh, thank you everybody for hanging and enjoying. It was good to see my friends in the chat. Hope I'll see you guys next time. Um, I might play some more later tonight. That would be 9, 9.30 Pacific Ms. time. But otherwise, probably research. more Destiny tomorrow night, like all night. Whenever you have need of them. Late night Destiny tomorrow for sure. And again, uh, same time, like 9.30... 9, 9 30, 10 o'clock, something like that, Pacific time, okay? See you later, cat. See you later, everybody. Take care out there. <laughs>